the sustainable maintenance and modeling project. Um, Shilpa um, Kao is amazing with me. He's been uh, serving in management at Jishiradananda Temple. He's been the vice president of Yujana Puri Temple, the regional secretary for the Kaizen and development of the Namahatas. He's been involved in programs with the government leaders and seminars and leadership and in New Age preaching. He's been conducting Japa retreats, um, self realization seminars, and Vaishnav etiquette courses as well. He's been involved in printing of solar books for the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust. He's managed the Back to Godhead Department. He's been the Eastern representative to the Hindu Mahasabha. He's also been the director of the Richards Bay Project, and um, he's helping to complete the temple there. And he's recently appointed by the GBC to serve as the National Secretary for Namibia, so we're going to have to share him with another country, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, he's also appointed by the GVT to serve as the Director of Food for Life South Africa and he is always available to counseling devotees and of course for Hyena and the food distribution. And it's our absolute pleasure to have Kabo here this afternoon. Everybody can give Kabo a big Hare Hare Krishna. So I would like to say something in congratulations of Raghunath Pachakrao. Uh, he's been cultivating my spiritual practices. And sometimes whenever I um, like download rounds and bathroom rounds, he always makes sure he, uh, I sit down with him and chat with him uh, some of the rounds, my 16 rounds. Sometimes I go for late night programs and I struggle rounds. So sometimes I, most of the time I sit with him and chat with him. And he'll be chanting for like hours and hours and hours and finish off late. I've seen that many times. And Raghunath Bhattapuri has been always cultivating devotees, and also cultivating new devotees as well. So if anyone wants to uh, take any uh, guidance from uh, Raghunath Bhattapuri, he's the best. He's the best one. He's the best whatsoever. And that's all I can say. Pirabhadra, Krishna Chaitanya, Patitamunita, and all most of the art devotees, including myself, we always enjoy being with him and uh, always like to associate with him, always. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, in order to uh, facilitate the Bhagavad Gita Yes. 
Sadhu, who has a real affection in his heart. And um, the earlier topic was about the Ganga. For the Ganga, you need to take bath repeatedly to get purified. Not just one time, it doesn't come out and you're purified. And they say when saintly persons visit the holy dawn, they take away all the sins that are deposited in those places. So he's one of the first persons. And um, so the point is, when one gets a moment's association with a saintly person, the purification takes place. The connection to Krishna starts, and you know, your journey begins to go back home, back to God. So Raghunath Bhatta has come from good stuff. Both his poems, most of you might not know, were also sent to Dhanavi Bhatta. And they assisted in his early, early days, and he has come. And our first services in his corner was going on Sankey Town, door to door. So I was really dubious because it was all based on book scores, who makes the most, you know, uh, who makes the best score. And my consciousness has changed since then. <laughs> but uh, they were very competitive, transcendentally. So for some reason, this devotee, Ekit Chakra, he was Sanandana before. He come pick me up first in Phoenix, like maybe 4.30 in the morning. We backtracked to New Orleans, pick up Raghunath Bhatta, and round up all the devotees. It was an old tower that the temple had, and we all 15, 20 of us should squeeze into one vehicle with all the stuff <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> And it was just amazing. We should go a lot of places, up and down the coast, mainly north coast. And when we should go to Stenga, the uh, former Indian areas. So I should sort of plan the, the different sections before the devotees should go. So I was caught up because I looked for the road with the most jandas on it. <laughs> <laughs> And I should take that road because I think, okay, a lot of Hindus here, so I'm going to sell a lot of books. And, you know, <laughs> so I was exposed like that over the years. Anyway, we had fun. The temple of Sri Sri Radha Temple was maintained initially by just book distribution funds. There was no big fancy golden hills and stuff at that point. And Sankitan was the main thing at that point, distributing a lot of books. So over the years, the legendary Newlands Namahata, which not many people brought up today. This is where a lot of the leaders that are now existing in ISKCON were sprouted in this wonderful place where this Suresh also spoke of Bhakti Tita Maharaj. I was present when Maharaj went to the Tura Ross. My wife helped to make a churis to give to all the people that came. And when Maharaj finished talk, he was surrounded for a while by all of by all the people. I was just so affected by his presence. And the one amazing thing, the relationship between Bhakti Tita Maharaj and Raghunath Bhatti is very, very deep. So much so that he's given his works, all his print works, in Raghunath's hand to print. You know, and uh, he didn't need permission from anyone, and he gave the rights to Raghunath Bhatti to print those books. So it's an amazing thing. I think he needs a round of applause for him. And if you look at the Urban Rock Theatre, almost all the different setups are, uh, you can say, disciples of Prabhupada. <laughs> <but, laughs> work for life, the art tent, book tent. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the, the, the gift shop here, yeah, there's, there's all extensions of his uh, preaching affected those devotees, and they've taken leadership positions. In this one, a lot of them run their own food for life centers now connected to this one, South Africa. And uh, yeah, so we must just hold on to Raghunath Bhatta, so to speak, you know, and always remain in this association. We are working on a current project in Richard Spain. We are co directors there with the Nanak Devotee Crown, Richard Spain. And he's working on many projects, and this is one of them. And we wish him good luck in the Sadic regions, the lower part of South Africa, to be successful. Just how he's affected the devotees in our region. We, you know, we pray and we wish him well to be successful in those endeavors also. Thank you.
Krishna. Hey. Hey. Maharaj um, um, had um, come in, I think it was a Back to Godhead uh, program that uh, somebody phoned us about. Yeah. And um, we were like totally enthralled by what we saw and what we heard. And um, we heard that Bhakti Chara Maharaj was then going, um, uh, was having a program. It was a program that was arranged at um, the city hall. So Raj Kishan and I said, no, we have to go to this. This is a really, really different. And this is, you know, probably the way we should be going because we were questioning so much about religion and, and, and you know, so wondering which is the right path to take. And we said, well, this is an option for us as well. And um, we, we went to the, um, uh, the uh, city hall, and, and that program itself was a really, really out of this world. I mean, uh, Maharaj's Kirtan was something that really, really, you know, um, uh, really <coughs> took, uh, you know, what's so transcendental that it really uh, took you and, and you were able to transcend like uh, that, that whole situation there. And so we said we've got to go and find a Namahat or some way that we, we can connect with this, uh, with ISKCON. And we were so fortunate that somebody told us, go and look for Raghunath Prabhu. So it was Krishna that directed us, go look for Raghunath Prabhu. And there's another devotee by the name of Pundrik. And we, in that huge crowd, there were probably like about 600 people there at City Hall that evening, and we went looking everywhere, asking every devotee that we saw, you know, who is this devotee? And it, uh, we were finally directed to the book table. <laughs> and I mean, we should have known that is where we can find them. And there we went, um, we asked for Raghunath Prabhu, and well, he said, I am Raghunath, uh, I am Rajesh, I am Rajesh, it was Rajesh that we were looking for. And, and this is Pundrik. And um, I think um, we were then directed to, um, we went to um, Effingham, Effingham, and we, we, we used to attend a Namahanta program there, and then Pundrik Prabhu then directed us to the Namahanta at Castle Hill. Um, primarily that Raghunath Prabhu used to um, uh, basically um, officiate with the um, uh, Rohini Nandan Prabhu. And that was our journey. But I was so fortunate because Raghunath Prabhu brought the entire Pachatapa to my house. <laughs> they used to come in and we used to have programs almost every week, every Saturday. Till 12 at, the 12 at night, 1 o'clock at night, and it was just kirtan and um, basically uh, scripture. And um, I am I'm very grateful to Raghunath Prabhu because he gave us so much of association. And you know, even his wife used to come in on the Kadasi days, we used to sit there, and, and your daughter Michelle, and um, just. Um, you know, go on for hours speaking about Krishna and and reading Bhagavad Gita. And um, it was because of Raghunath Prabhu that we had so many sannyasis visit our home. I, I think it was like over five of them came. Uh, Pastor Sarathi Maharaj spent a whole week uh, during the, um, um, uh, the 10 campaign years. And, um, I'm really and truly grateful to you, uh, Prabhu, because you also took us on distribu uh, book distribution. You actually taught us how to distribute books, and we we had so many successful, uh, you know, uh, programs as well. So thank you, and I, I, I really beg you that you, you know, you continue to pray for us and assist us because you've done that so compassionately for my family and I. Um, I'm really thankful. And I'm sure Raj Kishore as well echoes the same sentiments. Thank you so much. Krishna yeah, Chaitanya is a wonderful devotee. We have uh, wonderful times. We're sitting on a bed watching a movie on, uh, on uh, Tukalam. 
Chukaram, Chukaram is a Vaishnava. Gopinath Maharaj knows when he comes, he was asking to tell you about Chukaram. It's, a, it's moving, it's mentioned in the Chaitanya Chattamrita. Very beautiful person, yeah. And how he went back to Godhead, you know? Straight back to Godhead. Yeah. Personally, the Lord sent the. I don't know to take him back. So yeah, so we had a lot of things. Uh, we were meant to go to Boston. Yeah, everybody said thank you so much. <laughs> but bro, I just want to, I don't know if I thank you enough, but really what Ravindra Sarup said that himself, me, Krishna Chaitanya, Harish Bhav, and so many others, uh, where we are now because of Raghunath Raja Prabhu. Um, when I first, when I first um, went to Shri Shri Radha Radhanath, it was Chanmastami. <laughs> Chanmastami night. Chanmastami night. And uh, Ishwara Puri was leading the kirtan, and when we saw this bald headed, I saw this bald headed man just <laughs> jumping about the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was really attracted to that, you know. And uh, so we sat, I was standing at the back. I think you were there as well, right? Yeah, we were standing at the back, and somehow or the other, Raghunath Bhattu Prabhu came, comes to us and just pulls us into the kirtan. Yeah. And from then on, we were always at Raghunath Bhattu Prabhu. And he's molded us, molded me, um, into what I am today. I didn't come from a very good background. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of wrong things. Um, but yeah, he's, he's changed so many people's lives for the better. And um, one thing I can say about Raghunath Bhattu Prabhu is that he has taste for chanting Krishna's names. And someone that has taste for, someone that has faith in, chan, in, in Krishna's name and has taste for Krishna's, chanting Krishna's name is, can, can attract hundreds of thousands of people. So Prabhu, I just want to say that Thank you for everything you've done for us. And um, yeah, you're like a father to me. Thank you, Rita. Sure. We can appreciate you, Gina Bhajan Prabhu. Yeah, continue. <laughs> yeah, no, sure, sure. 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 We have some more. Krishna, dear devotees. Thank you. We feel very privileged to say a little bit about Raghunath Prabhu, although there's a lot to say about him. Time is limited. So it goes back a long, long time ago. My Prabhu and I and my boys first went to Shri Shri Radha Radhanath Temple. Oh, I think the boys must have been about three or four years old at that time. <laughs> yeah, so um, Radhanath Prabhu is a very friendly person. That's one of the 26 qualities of a devotee, right? The very first person to approach us at, in the temple room was Raghunath Prabhu. We were just sitting one side of the bench, not knowing what to do, whom to speak to. And Raghunath Prabhu spotted us, walked across the temple room. I don't know if you remember that Prabhu. <laughs> and introduced himself, spoke to us, told us there's a Sunday love feast and there's prasadam, and encouraged us to come, you know, more often. That was our first meeting with Raghunath Prabhu, and I'll never forget it. And then of course, he took us, he's my spiritual mentor. Um, I took a lot from Raghunath Prabhu. A very guiding personality. Uh, quite a few years ago, the Reservoir Hills Namahanga needed uh, to do a course, a Bhagavad Gita overview course. And I approached Raghunath Prabhu, and of course, you know, he responded immediately and he made all the arrangements. He sacrificed his time, he was there every Sunday morning. And by his mercy, so many people did that Bhagavad Gita online course because I don't know if you all know, Reservoir Hills Namahanga had. Uh, nickname, so he has a nickname, the pensioners Namahanga. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's lots of older body devotees there and uh, they found some difficulty in traveling to classes every week. So Raghunath Prabhu came first and yeah. to his royals and did those classes for us. So a lot of uh, devotees benefited from him. And of course, every time you want to have a house program or any preaching program, Raghunath Prabhu is ever ready. <laughs> As Mataji said, he's, he's capable of um, relating to people of all different levels and knows how to bring non-devotees into Krishna consciousness, which is really important.
bottom quality. And then of course, Mataji and I had what a beautiful experience with Raghunath Prabhu in India. He's so soft-hearted. Uh, we went on pilgrimage to Vrindavan in Kartik uh, quite a few years ago. And because it was our first Kartik day and our first proper trip to Vrindavan, we needed a lot of guidance. Uh, we were desiring to go on Govardhan Parikram. That morning, after Mangal Arti, as we were going around the temple room, we happened to run into Raghunath Prabhu. Prabhu was there to do his own personal sadhana, reading and so forth. But when he met us, he was so kind and he understood our desire and said, no, it's fine. He's not only going to take us on Govardhan Parikram, he agreed to take us on various Parikrams for the duration that we were there. And we all left at different times. We had different durations of stay in the dham. So he worked out a whole schedule so that each and every one of us benefited according to the time frame. That, that was amazing. I, you know, I could go on about that Vrindavan trip and how much Raghunath yeah, Prabhu did it for us. I'm going to hand it over to Mataji. Let her tell us a bit more. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much for, for coming into our lives. We came into Krishna consciousness in the late, late 1990s. And Prabhu was there from the start right up till now, wherever he always was there for us. No matter what, whether it's pouring with the rain, boiling sunshine, you just pick, pick up the phone and Prabhu was always there. I remember he took us on book distribution and we, we were fairly new to with book distribution and we didn't know what to do. He just gave us the bag and he said, right, go. We just looked at him, what do we do now? <laughs> so anyway, we split up in teams and we managed, we, we did manage to distribute the book. So thank you so much for doing that for us as well. And thank you for everything that you did for uh, for myself, my children, and Prabhu. You even took his ashes to the dam, which was so spiritual. I remember you tried to phone me, and I was not available while you were doing it. But thank you so much. We really, really appreciate whatever you did for us, and thank you from the bottom of our heart. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in order to uh, let you all know how wonderful Raghunath Prabhu is and how much he's influenced us in our lives. So the first thing I got to share with you all, he took me to 16 rounds. And when you visit Sri Sri Radharatna temple, you will always find one devotee that is always smiling, just like Krishna, so soft and sweet on the face. Raghunath Prabhu um, emanates that. He's always smiley and he can connect with anybody irrespective of which spiritual level you are on. So I think that's his best quality. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, I don't have much to say, only just one experience that I had with Karuna Prabhu at Chakurabai Vidamai at the temple. That's it. He called me and he asked me something. I said yes. This is private like, between me and me. And he said, he said, don't talk about it. And that's the day I realized that Raghunath Prabhu is not ordinary. I'm telling you. Uh, serious. <laughs> serious. Serious. He's not ordinary. And he is going to go reach the top.
and so uh, the government wants to promote. He's the best. He's the best one. He's the best one, sir. And that's all I can say. Pira Bhadra, Trisha Chita, in particular, Pastor Bonita, all most of our devotees, including myself, we always enjoy being with him and uh, always like to associate with him. Always. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Genesis, uh, I must surprise you that it is a singular honor to share about this great personality. Um, I've, uh, I've jotted a few points. Uh, I have to speak here, I don't know. <laughs> 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 um, okay, uh, my association with Raghunan Bhatta Prabhu spans a total of almost 40 years. And, um, you know, I can speak volumes about him, and, uh, and I can also be waxing lyrical about his abilities, but owing to time constraints, I, I don't intend to doing that. However, it will be totally remiss if I do not share about you. I'm sure most of you are oblivious of his, uh, his work, what he used to do. I'm going to give you a very, very precious version Okay, I worked with him. I was his understudy. Uh, he was a he was a pristine human resources officer with a wealth of knowledge. Uh, his abilities. He was a prolific thinker, an avid reader, and um, and that was like unparalleled. And he was embellished with a spate of awards for meritorious and outstanding work performance. Also, his sense of duty was beyond reproach and uh, also unparalleled because he was, he was the first to arrive at work and the last to leave. <laughs> and that is, that is a fact. Terence will bear testimony to that. And uh, during, during the genesis of my work and career, he also imparted a lot of knowledge to me. And, uh, the, the, the submissions and the work that emanated from him was always qualitative, always qualitative. Uh, uh, and uh, um, you know, you know, when he spoke, people listened. I remember this one day when, when, when we took up an issue with the erstwhile minister of education in Inakranya, and everybody was just talking. Every tempers were running high, but then. Rabbanan Prabhu raised his hand and very, very submissively, in a very, very succinct manner, presented our case. And the minister heard every word of it and said, you know what, now we have to act. And all of us spoke, but when he spoke, the minister listened. Also, uh, I also deem it very, very expedient and prudent to mention that uh, during, uh, when he was in employment with the Department of Education, he was also instrumental in uh, in, uh, in hosting this uh, uh, services. We used to have Tuesday services. Remember the tenants? And uh, we were so fortunate in that Raghunath Prabhu arranged for His Holiness Giri, uh, sorry, Bhakti Charu Maharaj to come. And I remember that they, we, there was such an ecstatic kirtan. And, 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 and the place was actually through the house of that afternoon rocked. And, uh, and also, uh, we had the privilege to, 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 to meet with uh, His Holiness Bhakti Tirsa Maharaj. And thank you very much for that, Raghunath Prabhu. And, uh, you know, during the, during the early stages of his, uh, his practice, the Krishna consciousness, you know, we had we had, a, we had a system called the pending system where we used to pin files. And, 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 and uh, we had those little pen, pen we, we used to call them pen cards. So Raghunath Prabhu, what he did was, he wrote every verse of the Bhagavad Gita and the translation and the purport. I think how many, how many thousand verses are there in the Bhagavad Gita? 700, 700 verses. He wrote every one of those verses and he learned, believe you me, every verse. Every verse. 
And then uh, he used to make me, I remember he used to tell me that you, I'm going to read the Bhagavad Gita. Every day, he, he used to ensure that I read every night. And the next morning, he'll call, he'll call me to his office and he'll tell me like, what you read? There were times, yes, I used to lie. I, I, never, I used to fumble and say, hey, bad you didn't read. Go back and read. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Thank you immensely. And, um, you know, he, uh, his grace has the ability to win souls. He preached to many a person and they became Krishna consciousness. I think more because of his, his humility, that was also a contributing factor, his humility. I mean, everybody wants a piece of Raghunath Prabhu. When you see him, everybody gathers around him and they all want a piece of him. <laughs> and, um, you know what, I think I'm going to leave it here for now, you know, owing to time constraints. But all I'm going to say, I firmly trust that Lord Krishna reciprocates with you with an avalanche of blessings and your spirituality reaches astronomical heights. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, his name is Suresh. Yeah, Krishna Chaitanya is a wonderful devotee. We have uh, wonderful times. We are sitting on a bed and watching a movie on uh, on Chukala. Uh, Chukala. Chukala was a Vaishnava. Babinath Maharaj was, when he comes, he was asking to tell you about Chukala. It's a, it's a movie, it's mentioned in the Chaitanya Chantamrita. Very beautiful person, yeah. And how he went back to Godhead, you know. Straight back to Godhead. Yeah. Personally, the Lord sent the I don't get to take it back. So yeah, so we had a lot of ex uh, we were meant to go to Mosul.